here is a quick little sequence I designed as a posture fix. So we're going to be doing some strengthening uh, poses for the upper back and also some stretching and moving just to get some nice movement in your spine. So you should feel good if you sit a lot or if you walk like this or if you text a lot. So let's get started. We are going to start in table pose. Knees directly under your hips. Hands just to the outsides of your shoulders. Index finger pointing straight ahead. And we'll do a few rounds of cat-cow. So as you inhale, melt your chest towards the floor, lifting your head and tail. And exhale, round your back, pressing the floor away from you, really pulling the belly button and rounding your spine. And inhale, melt the chest, lift the head and tail. And exhale, round. And you can flow here at the pace of your own breath. Or you can follow along with me. Inhale, melt the chest, lifting your head and tail. Pull the belly button and squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale, round your back, pressing the floor away from you. Let's do two more of these. Inhale, melt the chest, lifting the head and tail. Keeping the arms straight, exhale, round your back, pressing the floor away. And last one. Really trying to get some movement in the spine, making sure that you're arching evenly and rounding evenly. And on your next inhale, settle back to a neutral spine. So from here, we're going to do some rhomboid push-ups. So the only thing moving here are your shoulder blades. So we're squeezing them together or retracting them and then protracting or pulling them away from each other. So your arms stay completely straight, no bending at all in the arms. Belly button stays pulled in, and don't let that low back move at all. So the only thing moving here are your shoulder blades. So again, get in that nice table pose, and then go ahead and slowly squeeze the shoulder blades towards each other. Keep the arms straight, do not bend your elbows. Squeeze and release. Get as much as you can. So this is a subtle movement, but great for strengthening your rhomboids, which are those muscles between the shoulder blades that help keep you sitting up nice and tall. They're also the muscles that get super stretched out from having that hunched over position. So go ahead and squeeze the shoulder blades together again. Make sure you're not arching the back at all. Shoulder blades should be the only thing moving and release. Make sure that your head stays in line with your spine. We'll do two more of these, really squeezing the shoulder blades together, and release. Pretend there's a pencil between your shoulder blades, and you're trying to squeeze that pencil. One more time, and release. Good, let's go ahead and take a child's pose, because that's a lot of work. So feet together, knees apart, <clears throat> and settle here. Just relaxing. And one more nice deep breath here. And come back up to table. So from here we're going to do a thoracic twist. So thoracic spine is that mid spine, which we sometimes don't have a lot of mobility in because we sit so much. So this is actually pretty tough. So we're going to take one hand behind our head. And we'll, we'll start with our right hand. And then go ahead and inhale. And as you exhale, bring your right elbow to the left elbow, keeping your hips pinned where they are. And then inhale, opening up. So again, keep the hips in place and exhale, elbow to elbow. Inhale, opening up, hello. And exhale, as you can see, I'm quivering. This is a very difficult movement. So it's not just you. Really keep those hips pinned. Let's do two more on this side. Yes, I sit this side. We have to do the other side. I can't have you walking around lopsided. One more, I'm actually starting to break a sweat here. And inhale. And exhale back to center. Now we have to do the other side. Set left hand behind your head. And make sure that your head is in line with your spine here, not tilting forward. So inhale. And exhale, elbow to elbow, keeping those hips pinned. Inhale, opening up. Keep the hips pinned, belly button pulled in. Exhale, elbow to elbow. And inhale, 
Inhale, opening up. And exhale, elbow to elbow. Oh my goodness. Two more after this one. And exhale, we're almost there. We've got some nice restful and restorative poses coming up, I promise. Inhale. Last one, exhale. And inhale just to finish it up. And exhale, come back to table. Oh, let's do another child's pose. So feet together, knees apart. And settle here. Oh boy. Nice, take another deep breath. Oh. All right. So from here, we are going to make our way to our back. So that's nice. So once you're on your back, go ahead and take your arms to a T, palms facing up. Feet should be shoulder width apart, flat on the floor, knees bent. And then from here, we're just going to gently windshield wiper our knees side to side, nice and slow. Oh, that should feel good after all that work. And just keep moving evenly, nice and slow, breathing, and settle back to center. From here, let's go ahead and cross our right ankle over our left thigh, flex your right foot, pull that pinky toe away from you, and then you can either stay here, <clears throat> pressing your right knee away from your face using your right hand, so if this feels like a nice stretch in your right hip, you can stay right here. Or if you'd like, you can bring your legs into your chest, clasping your hands behind the left thigh or in front of the left shin. Make sure that you're not keeping any tension in your neck, relaxing here, settling in the upper body, but then stretching in the lower body. Getting a nice stretch in your right hip and glute. That should feel good after a long day of sitting. And we'll go ahead and switch sides. So again, do the same stretch that you did on the first side. Flexing that left foot, pulling the pinky toe away from you, and you can either stay here, pressing the uh, knee away, or bring the legs into your chest, clasping behind the right thigh, or in front of the right shin. Once again, getting that nice stretch in your left hip and left glutes. This is one of my favorite stretches. I probably do this one most often. Feels really good after a long flight, too. We'll do a couple more breaths here. Make sure that you're relaxing any tension in the neck. And release. Good. Uncross the legs. So from here, let's bring our right knee into our chest, clasping your hands behind the right thigh. Press your thigh into your hands, while at the same time pulling your hands back against that leg. And you can either stay here or straighten that leg. Make sure that you're pressing that foot up to the ceiling. So we're going for perpendicular to the floor here, not closer to our face. So we can get a true hamstring stretch. And if you'd like, you can stretch that left leg out on the floor underneath you. Make sure that you're pressing through all four corners of both feet. We'll do another breath here. And then that right knee, bringing your right foot flat to the floor. Left knee comes into your chest, clasping your hands behind the left thigh. If you want, you can switch the clasp of your hands. Work on um, some wrist strength, so sometimes it feels more normal to do one clasp. So try the other finger on top. Press your leg into your hand so much that it straightens your arm. And at the same time, pull your hands back against your thigh. Again, staying here with this 90 degree bend in your knee or bringing it towards straight. And if you'd like, stretching that right leg out on the ground underneath you. Pressing through all four corners of both feet. Again, relaxing any tension in your neck. We'll take another deep breath here. And release. Good. Go ahead and bend both knees again, bringing your feet flat to the floor. And then lift your feet off the ground, taking your thighs perpendicular to the floor so your knees are just over your hips. <clears throat> Take one hand to the top of each knee and push straight down so that we're pressing our thigh bones down into their hip sockets. 
Again, it's some work, but it feels really nice. So we'll just hold this for another couple breaths. Make sure that your shins are parallel to the ground. And release. Good. All right, go ahead and roll to one side and press yourself up. And then we're going to make our way to table again. So here at the table, we're just going to do a few more cat cows. Now that we're a little more warmed up, knees directly under your hips, hands just to the outsides of your shoulders, index finger pointing straight ahead. And we'll do a few rounds of cat cow. So as you inhale, melt the chest, lift the head and tail. Exhale, ground the back. And inhale. Melt the chest, lifting head and tail for cow, and exhale round for cat. And we'll just do one more. Inhale, lift, and exhale round. And on your next inhale, settle back to a neutral spine. Good. From here, go ahead and move your knees back about six inches and lower down onto your mat. So untuck your toes, lengthen your legs, bring your arms down by your sides, palms facing up, pull the shoulder blades together, and then lift your head and chest off the mat, keeping your head in line with the spine, pressing your feet down into the ground, pressing the backs of your hands into the ground, and then pulling your belly button towards your spine. And we'll just hold this for a few more breaths, so strengthening that low back. Almost there, one more breath. And exhale, release, resting your head on your hands. If you want, you can gently rock your hips side to side. And settle back to center, nice. And then you can come up to the same. Elbows just below your shoulders, palms pressing down to the ground, dragging back towards you, and then reaching through the crown of your head to lengthen your spine. So you can either stay static here, just staying still in sphinx pose, or if you'd like, you can gently look side to side. I like to move a little bit from my waist to get a little stretch there. Checking out the scenery. If you're near your couch, seeing if you have any dust buddies under there. Oh God, don't look at that, it's horrible. And settle back to center. And go ahead and rest your head on your hands. While we're here, let's go ahead and take a thigh stretch. So reach back with your right hand to grab your right foot, pulling your heel towards your bum, but at the same time, kicking that foot into your hand and pressing your hips towards the floor so you get a nice thigh stretch. And then we'll just hold this for a few breaths. Good. Make sure that you're staying active, pressing that foot into the hand. And without letting the foot slingshot, slowly release that leg. And we'll take the other side. Go ahead and grab that left foot with your left hand. And pulling that heel towards your butt at the same time, kicking your foot into your hand and pressing the hips towards the floor. Just a couple more breaths here. And slowly release. Nice. And then go ahead and make your way back up to table and then to a seated position. Uh, actually, you can be seated or kneeling, whatever feels better for you. So we're going to do a chest stretch next. And you can always use a strap um, or a belt or anything that you have lying around. So for this chest stretch, I want you to clasp your hands behind you Keep pulling the heels of the hands towards each other. Keep the elbows bent, pulling the shoulder blades back. And then, keeping all that, pull your hands away from your tailbone. So this is a pretty active chest stretch. We don't want to straighten the arms here because then that takes the stretch into the biceps. And I want it to stay more in your chest. So if this isn't as accessible for you, you this is where you can use a strap. So just grabbing it behind you. Uh, the closer your hands are, um, the more of a stretch it will be. So if you've got tighter shoulders, maybe take it a little further apart. So same thing here. Pull the shoulder blades together, keep the elbows bent, and then pull that strap away from your tailbone. And while you're doing this, be sure to keep your ribs in. 
and sit up nice and tall. So you can either do this here in this kneeling position or in a seated position. And we'll just hold this for a couple more breaths. Nice. Make sure you're sitting up tall, really pulling those shoulder blades together, keeping the elbows bent. Oh, I'm making you work today. And release. Good. One more little pose, and then you will be home free. We're going to do cosmic head rest. So go ahead and take your fingertips to the back of your head. Pull the shoulder blades together. Press your head back into your fingertips while at the same time pressing your fingertips into your skull. And then lift the chest. So we've got strengthening of the neck happening. We've also got stretching of the front body, keeping the ribs pulled in, lifting the sternum towards the ceiling. And release. Go ahead and shake it out. All right, so that was a nice little posture fix for you. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you liked this video on YouTube, you can always come to Atlanta and see me in person at Interfusion Fitness. Bye, y'all.